We are going to walk through easy setup and configuration of our S16 stage box with Behringer's flagship X32 console. S16 features 16 Midas designed fully programmable mic preamps for audio file sound quality. Let's take a look at the back. You will notice two AES50 ports. To make use of X32's full potential, up to three S16 units can be cascaded to allow 48 channels of bi-directional audio. Any AES50 signal cascaded from one S16's port A to another S16's port B are automatically shifted up 16 channels, allowing the last S16 in the chain to transmit all audio channels to and from the incoming AES50A port. All this is then configured on your X32 routing page. But for now, working with just one unit, you will need to connect S16's AES50 port A to X32 port A or B using a shielded Cat5 cable. You could, for instance, connect two S16 units to X32's ports A and B. However, you will need to be connected to S16's A port in both instances. Physical setup is done. Now on to configuration. Let's initialize our console and set up a new show with S16. The next step is to set the master clock on one of the devices. For this video, we've made X32 our master. How did we do this? Under synchronization, on the setup global menu, we have internal selected. Note that our sample rate is set to 44.1 kHz. Back to S16. Hold down config and use the HA control scroll wheel and turn this to scroll through the device operation modes. Simply, we can spin this hard left to scroll away from the sample rates 44.1 or 48. Selecting these would set the S16 as the master, but two devices cannot be the master. Let's select outputs 1 to 8. Notice the green LED, successful sync. Over on X32, successful sync on AES50 port A. Just for our own understanding, let's just see what happens when we try and make both devices the master. Back on S16, we'll hold down config and use the HA control wheel to select a sample rate setting. Let's go with 44.1, same as our X32. Red panic LED, no sync, same over on X32. But what we can do in this instance is set X32 as the slave. Let's select AES50 port A. This is the port that we are using. Green LED, success. Let's quickly test out our successful rig. Microphone into S16, input one. Over on X32, we have our signal. You are now good to go. Whether you're in the studio or if you're on tour, you are ready to put those extra preamps to good use.